So Singer Sargent arrives in Paris in the, uh, in the 1880s. He's really looking to make a name for himself as a painter. And he is enchanted. He finds his muse in the beautiful Virginie Amélie Gautreau. Everyone wanted to paint this beautiful woman. She had refused all the uh, former offers. But for Singer Sargent, for whatever reason, maybe they're both expats, maybe they're both American, she agrees. I don't know why this portrait is called Madame X when everyone in Paris at the time knew that the subject was Madame Pierre Catreau. This is one of John Singer Sargent's finest portraits, and that's saying a lot. Sargent was a brilliant painter and one of the greatest portraitists in art history, and he himself considered this one of his finest works. This is an enormous painting, almost seven feet tall. It's also a contradiction. The painting is a formal portrait of a society woman, but frankly, the pose and depiction are also suggestive, at least by Victorian standards. The painting is luscious in its rendering of skin, which was lightly powdered in lavender, and clearly focuses on Madame Gautreau's obvious physical assets. She is at once inviting and haughty. This wasn't a commission. Rather, Sargent, at age 27, sought out Madame Gautreau and offered to paint her portrait, knowing that her status in French society would assure future commissions. On January 12, 1857, John Singer Sargent was born. The young John Sargent was full of energy and more interested in activities outdoors than his studies. But by the time he was a young man, John Sargent was fluent in French, Italian, and German. John Sargent's mother had always believed in his drawing, but he wanted to convince his father that art was a worthy pursuit. At 16 years old, he spent the entire winter honing his skills. By the spring, Fitzwilliam had resolved to nourish his son's talent, and together they traveled to Paris, where John Sargent could study painting. 